What's going on guys, Switchbrew here and welcome back to another Nintendo Switch video. So in this video, this is going to be sort of a tutorial slash informative video. So yeah, let's get started. So if you guys who don't know, I'm really good friends with JP from the Alien Retro Gaming YouTube channel, the owner. And what he's done is he's created a ROM free shop within Tinfoil. So before even getting into how to add this to Timpol or anything that, you will need RetroArch installed on your Nintendo Switch console. If you don't have RetroArch installed, basically what will happen is when you add the free shop to Timfoil, you won't be able to see anything down the left hand side. However, when you've got RetroArch installed and you add the following shop to Timfoil, everything appears on the left hand side so just before we get started and i'm going to show you guys how to add the following free shop via tinfoil there's a couple of things i need to let you know so basically because the shop is new it is missing some content for retroarch here's an example or a few examples of what's missing at the moment still so you've got ps1 roms missing dreamcast roms sega cd roms and also game gear roms missing at the moment but they are the obviously is ROMs available for other consoles. Um, another thing that I need to let you know is that the shop is fully free, fully free. Sorry to everyone. It's never going to require a, pass, a password to access it. And it's never going to ask for anything to do with Discord to access it. So it is a fully free shop. So what we're going to do now, guys, is what we're going to jump on into Timfoil. And I'm going to show you how to add this to your Nintendo Switch console. So guys, what you want to do is you'll want to open up Tinfoil. And I'm going to let my Tinfoil load now. Once Tinfoil is loaded, what you want to do is head to the file browser section. So as you can see, if you go to file browser, then what you want to do is click right on your left thumbstick and you want to click the minus button. So as you can see, guys, what you'll want to do is first you'll want to change the protocol to HTTPS. Once you've changed that to HTTPS, what you want to do is go to the host section and you'll want to type in the following address. Just bear with me a second, guys. So what you want to type in is capital A, lowercase, L, I, E, N, and then gaming, G, a M I N G and then dot UK. Once you've done that, guys, what you want to do is go ahead and click the plus button for OK. And once you've done that, that's all the, all the information that you need to add. So once you've done all that, all you want to do is click X to save. And what's going to happen now is once it's saved, that tin file is going to refresh. Once Tim Falls refresh, guys, you should get a success message which says welcome to the Alien Retro Gaming ROM Shop. So what you want to do is just go ahead and click A on the OK button. And as you can see now, if you look down the left hand side, you should have NES, SNES, N64, NDS, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, and that is it right now. However, as I specified previously, there will be more content added to the following shop soon. And as I've said previously, guys, if you cannot see these down the left hand side, that is more than likely because you haven't got the retro arc installed as it requires this for the shop to open up the following sections. So, yeah, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.